run, Simon. This way to the control room. We can finish this war. Quickly. The Crusaders are just behind us. What are you doing? I'm going to activate this ring to destroy all the other rings and probably overheat this one to destroy it. But that will destroy the ring! I have to do it, Epsilon. No one is responsible with these rings. I can't let you do that. Epsilon, no! You bastard! Why did you do that for? We could have finished this war! Because if you would have destroyed the rings, you would have destroyed my people. What are you talking about? Wait, I knew it! You are a foreigner! Sorry, but I can't watch. Watch what? Your execution. Goodbye, Singly Spartan 001. You are a good friend. Sadly, I can't say the same thing to you. Stop firing. Wow, that was an easy kill. Thanks for frying his armor. No problem. Grandmaster has also sent me here to take you to headquarters. You will become one of his new lieutenants. That is okay. I understand my debt to your leader. Come on, let's go. Let him die alone. Dead? No, just from a coma from a couple of gunshot wounds to your head. The Epsilon Spine must have gave the emergency teleportation device to you. Your your voice, it sounds robotic. Why can't I see? You have them shut, Singili. Uh, I, I, I see. Holy crap, you're a foreigner. Yes, Singili, that's what I exist as. Where am I? You are in a communications bay on the Epsilon ring. So I'm on one of the rings? The sixth one to be exact. Why is my suit blue? Oh no, the Crusaders, they must be stopped. Sorry, I have to go. Ah! My legs, I think they're broken. Don't move too much, Singili. You weren't shot in the head. Relax. D42-9, X-ray skull. Please stay still. Ah, that hurt! Scanning. Well, it's just a sprained ankle. You'll be fine. Well, that's a relief. Well, Singili, we want to ask you some questions. Epsilon Spotting lost communication to us when he reached the Earth. We have no idea what he's been up to. Could you help us out? Okay, I'll tell you everything. It started at least four weeks ago. I have been hiding from the UNSC for four months after killing one of their best officers. I was hiding with other Singhalese that I found in a rebel base. We tried to repopulate our endangered race. It was going really well, until they found me. So this is where the great Singhalese Spartan lives. It's pretty nice. Look James, Singhalese Spartan must be persuaded to come back to the UNSC. Can you do that? Sure thing Captain Rhodes, it'll be easy. A UNSC soldier is in the area. Do you want him taken out? Don't worry, he looks like a messenger. I'll handle this. Hey, hey you, the one praying to the sword. Hey, hey. Wait a minute, he might only be able to talk in Singili. Teko, paro kerosokare por keros san Singili Spartan karokrata. Hello soldier, I am Singili Spartan, but now I am King Kinsuru II, leader of the last Singilis on Earth. I guess you know why I'm here. We're not going to put you into prison, we just want you to come back to the UNSC. I am very grateful that you don't want me to go to prison, but I can't go back. 
I have a female Singili who's going to have a baby in two months by stealing top secret fertilization drugs from the UNSC. Look, I wasn't here to ask you to come back to UNSC. I'm telling you to come back to UNSC. Captain Rhodes will send every man in his power to take you back to the UNSC. How dare you! You threatened me to go back to UNSC? I should cut off your head. Whoa, whoa, I, di I didn't mean it. Please don't kill me. I'm a single parent. Has anyone told you how I killed Sergeant Major Ryans? I severed his spine and left him to die in that desert. Maybe you should have the same fate. Please, don't! Please, your highness, don't kill this soldier. It will create more hostility against the humans. What should I do? Well, there's only one thing I can do. Tell Captain Rhodes that I'll come back to the UNSC. But for now, get out my sight. Haha, <laughs> you showed him you're not really going back, are you? I have no choice. But... But... You're the king, you must stay! I'm sorry, but they forced me to go. I have no choice. I don't want any of you to get hurt. But you could be killed! The war is already over. I'll bet it's not anything too serious. What about the baby? Who's going to take care of it? You? Me? I'm a terrible leader. Everything went well when you came along. Can you please leave the room? I need to get changed. I promised myself I'll never go back inside this armor. I have no choice. Please, your highness, you have to think about this. It's Singili Spartan now. I have to change to my old name. Captain Rhodes' base is really far away, so I have to take the Warthog. Please, your highness, I'll oh, stop with this highness crap. This is really pathetic now. I can't believe you're my second in command. But you don't really mean that. I think I do. Bye. You're nothing but a traitor! Go on, leave! Hello, Captain Rhodes. Hello, Singili Spartan. Look, I don't know why you want me here. The war is already over. I just want to spend the remainder of my life not fighting in wars. I know how you feel. But anyway, the UNSC still doesn't trust you, so they're going to team you up with a Spartan. Ah, partner, great. This is all you need to know about him. His name is Simon Keegan. He used to be in the Epsilon Spartan Squadron until they were all captured and killed. He has a life support machine on his back to keep him alive, but could also be used as a weapon. Here he is right now. Hello, Captain. You wanted to see me? 